Hello, everybody. It's E.T.'s Babies. Bring y'all a little close. Y'all see my baby Harmony over here. I just wanted to come on and show her off. Um, no, she is not for sale. For anyone that may be interested. Um, yeah, she's not for sale. This is... She's been in... This is the second baby that's been in my collection. Um, the first kit that I had of her, I sold over some years ago. And um, just really wanted her back in my collection again. So she's not for sale. But I just want to come on and show her off in her little Mickey Mouse outfit. And have a little conversation. Um, she is newborn. She just... I don't know. For me, she seems big because I'm used to my preemies. But she is my newborn. My um, cranky baby. Yeah, she's my cranky baby. So, yeah, guys. Um, we are moving. E.T.'s Babies is moving. Um, we'll still be in the same town. Hopefully. Y'all see my hair looks so frizzy. But um, we're having some issues with our landlord. Um, there's new management that has taken over and we are not liking their rules. Um, so we decided to move. Yeah. Um, I can't have too many rules to my house and I live in it and I pay bills. No, you, you can't tell me. What was that? my hair you know it's just ridiculous how some of these landlords have ridiculous rules to the house like dude i live in this house i pay rent as long as i'm not tearing up the walls or causing any you know damages to the property like you guys it's just way too much way too freaking much i got neighbors on the side of me who are hispanic I'm half Hispanic as well, Italian, Black, and Puerto Rican. So, before anybody start trying to put out some racist things that I'm finna say, don't even go there with me because I'm I'm that's my family over there too. <laughs> oh, they Mexicans and I'm Mexican as well. I have Mexican blood in me. So they always over there, loud like they got like five freaking kids. I don't know what's going on. This is only a two bedroom apartment, duplex or apartment complex or whatever you want to call it why you got so many kids i have no idea i don't know if it's their children or if it's company but every day it's ruckus i don't know if that's their children's bedroom on my wall on the other end of my bedroom wall but they loud and i've already made complaints about it and it seemed like nothing is being done then a new tenant moved up above me now you know i got weight on me too <laughs> you know, my mama had weight on her. There's family members I have that are heavy weighted, but this woman upstairs, it seemed like a freaking elephant. I'm telling y'all, I don't know if this person works nights or mornings, but we go to bed at nine o'clock at night. You know, that's our bedtime. And this person upstairs is always walking around and it literally sound like living in an old Victorian home in the wood on the floor creaks every time you walk. That's what I hear. It be so loud, y'all. Me and my guy have to turn on our water sounds that we fall asleep to have to be loud so that we could block out up there. And then they have a dog. So like 10 o'clock at night, they're playing with the dog. But I promise you guys, on the weekend when me and my guy are up later than we normally would be throughout the week, she'll go complain to the office that we're up in all hours of the night, blasting music. And what's so funny is that if that was the case, don't you think the neighbors on the side of us that's got kids would have said something? Or the neighbor that's across our door that is an old couple would have said something? Never had a problem until that person upstairs moved in. So, 
and they were not supposed to smoke anything but vapes in our apartment on top of having rentals insurance that we have to pay for every month like that is ridiculous we can't smoke in our apartment but then we have to pay for the rentals insurance it don't make sense and my guy was on his balcony smoking and you know she went and reported it to the front office talking about well the neighbor upstairs says that they smell cigarette smoke and you're not supposed to be smoking on the balcony or in your apartment and i'm like you guys i was just i'm fed up with living in apartments i've always lived in a house you know when i was raising my children i have something i was eating asparagus earlier and i feel like i have something stuck in my teeth so it's just like no I'm not finna sit here and pay $1,200 worth of rent on top of I can't do whatever I want to do in my apartment. And then there's no question, you know, she didn't call from the office and asked if we were smoking in on the balcony. She called not and assumed that we were because the neighbor upstairs had said it. Just like they assumed that we were playing loud music in, at all hours of the night. So I was just like, you know, I've been complaining about, you know, the rent being too high. And now with them and all their retarded complaints, like my guy go to work from, he's gone by six o'clock in the morning and don't get back till pretty much almost four. I'm in a house by myself all day. Ain't no music being played. I don't even go out on my balcony. If my guy ain't home i don't go on the balcony and i don't step out of the house so it was just like okay wow so you didn't even bother to ask us what was going on you called and right away she went off on us and i'm like you're not even here i could see if maintenance came in and said we were doing something we weren't supposed to be doing in our apartment but girlfriend that he say she said stuff don't even work don't fly with me Girl, you know how many times i didn't call to complain about the noise upstairs it's 10 o'clock at night and she running around with her dog you supposed to take that to the park girl on top of the fact that it's a whole two-bedroom complex why are they allowing pit bulls in this building it's carpet in the hallways people letting their dogs pee all in the hallway people letting their kids take the dogs um, pit bull dogs outside to use the bathroom when well, damn near I can't even control no pit bull That's why I don't want no big dog like that because I can't walk that dog or control it when they get out of get outrageous I didn't literally saw with my own two eyes My neighbor upstairs with a big dumb pit bull come downstairs with a five-year-old and a seven-year-old And took the dog outside to use the bathroom and bring it back in and no the dog was not on a leash then a couple of days ago um, I had some issues with my truck door, so I parked my car on the other side of the complex so that I could see the car from, you know, my balcony. So me and my guy coming in from getting the door fixed, I think this was yesterday, and um, I was in front of my guy, so I stopped right away. When I seen that pit bull just loose, I stopped right away. I was like, oh, nope. The owner was out there, some Caucasian guy, but the dog had no leash on him. This is a full grown pit bull. And he told me, oh, it's okay. You can keep going. He's friendly. I don't care if that was Casper the Friendly Ghost. I am not walking past a, a loose pit bull that didn't come out of my house, that don't know me. Like, no, I don't want that dog running up on me, sniffing me, smelling me, jumping on me, none of that. I don't care if he's friendly or not. That's not my pet. So we just stood there and you know, the guy got the point that, you know, grab your dog. It's not a Chihuahua. It's not a Yorkie. It's not a little dog. You know, this is a full, full grown pit bull. This, this dog got more muscles than I do. <laughs> like, no, not. where's your leash? Just because you think your dog is friendly to you does not mean that that dog may not turn around and attack a stranger. Like. Y'all, I'm, I'm just ready to go. So I'm fed up with all the rules and regulations to this apartment. I understand I signed them when I moved in, but I didn't have the type of neighbors and the noise 
that I'm dealing with and the complaints that's coming from my apartment when I don't even do anything. I'm in this house all day. The only time I turn on music is when I'm in my kitchen washing dishes. And I have a light bulb speaker that don't get loud. And if it did, she would have been, been banging on my ceiling. You can't. She, she, if she hear any type of music at night, she's banging on the ceiling or she's calling a complaint. But ain't nobody did nothing about her two, three, five hundred pound tail creaking the floor all freaking night. Like I told my guy the first time she moved in and I noticed that noise creaking as if something was going to fall through the ceiling. That's how irritating the sound is. And you trying to sleep and all you hear is creaking like somebody walking all day back and forth and she must have a job because she don't be there throughout the day i don't hear that woman throughout the day i don't hear the dog i don't hear anything it don't hit till like 8 30 9 o'clock at night and that's when it start up again so i was just like you know what you want me to be considerate of you and that's cool but can you be considerate either lose some weight or tell the people upstairs <laughs> that you need more padding in your carpet because I should not hear you. I don't know, y'all. I just feel like overly weighted people should not live on the second floor to an apartment complex because that is annoying as heck. Even kids. You got more than two kids that you should not be in an apartment complex because that is disrespectfully rude to everybody else. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, the hallway, kids running up and down the hallway. People live in these apartments. You are disturbing people. Tell your kids to walk. This is not a playground. This is not outside. We are inside. You're running past everybody's apartment. It's a two-bedroom apartment. We can hear that. We got kids leave cracking the, the lock security lock doors open. We got kids ringing the buzzers, ringing anybody's buzzer when they get locked out. Um, we got teenagers banging and, and playing ditch dunk, what is it, ding dong ditch on everybody's door. That's why I had to turn around and get a ring on my door. That camera that records everything, everybody that walk past my door, I see everything. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. These people in, these, in this apartment complex cannot control their children. I don't understand why they have dogs because they don't take care of them. I don't see nobody walk their dogs. Our whole field right here, that's grass, that's right by our balcony so we can sit out and enjoy the scenery. People are letting their dogs come over here and poop. I'm just waiting on the day somebody walk their dog over by my balcony and let them poop because they're going to get it from me. Like, that's ridiculous. Have enough respect not to let your dog poop in the areas where all everybody's balcony is at. Don't nobody want to open up their balcony and smell or see it. Like, it's ridiculous. And then management over here's biggest concern is they leave trash in the hallway. You know, it was two weeks worth of garbage upstairs sitting on the balcony, just sitting up there. Not nobody's balcony, nobody's apartment. It was just upstairs on the staircase, just sitting there for two weeks a big bag of garbage people take their garbage leave it outside in the hallway for like a whole day and but when they leave out i guess that's when they throw their garbage out yeah it's ridiculous so this is why my dolls are up for sale um this is why i'm moving because i refuse to pay high rent for a two-bedroom apartment i don't use a pool I don't have real small children. My children are adults and grown with their own lives. So I don't need y'all park. Ain't no reason to be here anymore. The rent too high. We have new management. They rules are bogus as heck. They not protecting people. Now, as soon as somebody get bit in this complex, they're going to sue them. And then that's probably when they will change the, the pet rules. It's a two-bedroom apartment, y'all. Why half these people I didn't seen already? Don't I only seen maybe 
not even a handful of people with small dogs. Everybody in this complex got big dogs. And we in a good neighborhood. We're not in the ghetto. We're in a good neighborhood. Why does everybody, and for each his own, maybe some people like big dogs, some people like pit bulls, for each his own. I've had a pit bull before as well, not in no apartment. That's a big dog. How are you washing him? How are you bathing him? How are you? No, that's gross. It makes me think that their apartment smells terrifyingly gross. It smells like a zoo. You got this big dog in here. Don't wear deodorant. Don't wear cologne, perfume. You can't keep the scent off of him unless you give him a bath. What you doing? Putting that big dog in your tub where you lay your tail to take a bath? Where you stand with your bare feet to shower? That's gross. That's gross. That's nasty. And I didn't understand that. When I moved in here and saw all the pit bull families around, it just blew me. Because I was just disgusted. I'm like, dude, I guarantee you, I bet you they apartment stink. That's a big dog. I live with my cousin and she was in a two-bedroom apartment and she had one, two. She had two dogs, two pit bulls, and her pit bull ended up having babies. And trust me, it stank. I don't care. It stank. I'm a very cleanly person. I don't like smelling garbage. When it's time for me to take my garbage out and I smell it, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm a clean person. I do not like the smell of dirt, garbage, funk, none of that. I take showers every day, sometimes twice a day. I don't like that. That's nasty. And I definitely don't want to live in the complex with people who I feel like are nasty as well. Complex nasty and the people who live here are nasty because I don't understand how you can manage to keep a big animal in a small unit and keep your unit from stinking when you don't even walk the dog. Like, they don't walk their dogs. They bring their dogs outside, unleashed, right in front of the areas where our balconies are all at, where the trees and the grass and beautiful scenery, they doing all of that. Now, I feel like the complex needs to have a designated area for the dog to use the bathroom. If you're going to allow dogs in the building, they should at least have a de designated area for you to take your dog and not just to take your dog right outside where the steps is at and let them do their business. You know how many times I didn't walked outside and seen mess on the steps, concrete steps, not the dirt, not the grass, the steps. That's nasty. For one, that means that you waited too long to take your dog outside and he really had to go. And for two, you don't need no dog because that's irresponsible. Like, Let's get off the whole dog dog situation because it really irritates my soul that people have dogs and don't know how to take care of them. And I have never in my life, y'all, never in my life been in an apartment complex that's a that's small that would allow you to have such a big animal. It just it blo it really blows my mind. But yeah, those are all the issues that are literally going on in my unit. Well, not in my unit, but in the whole complex that I feel uncomfortable about. And I'm just not happy with the whole idea of staying here for another year. Like, I really don't. I really don't see it. I am not comfortable with walking. Like, it's nice today. It's supposed to be in the 40s. And I would love to go for a walk. But my pepper spray is in my truck, and my truck is with my mate, and he is at work. So it's just like, no, dude, I shouldn't have to go through all this headache just to get outside and get some fresh air. Because people around here are letting their dogs loose like they are at home. You know, opening up their backyard that's gated, and they just let their dog loose. Like, come on now, if you have a dog, it's a responsibility. It's just like having a child. You still have to look over it, take care of it, and maintain the situation and protect it from other people. And it's and yeah, <laughs> from other people. So yeah, that is what's going on. That's why I'm selling my babies because I'm fed up with new management. 
their rules have gotten really ridiculous and they think that I have to abide by them. Nope. We just gonna move. <laughs> That's what we gonna do. I'm not wasting no more money. And I was just, you guys, gonna fix the living room up. But it's just too much going on. Too much. And it, it's really, it's unfair and it's unnecessary. I mean, you're paying $1,200 in rent on top of having to pay for renter's insurance. And then you can't damn near, y'all, I can't light incense, candles, anything of that nature. I'm okay with smoking in the crib because I use my pen, but my guy don't. So it's just like, we can't do anything in our apartment but sleep, eat, and, and that's it. <laughs> But everybody else in these apartments is doing whatever they want, playing loud music, leaving doors unlocked, smoking marijuana in the hallways, got the hallway stinking. But they on us. Like, we're doing something, and we're not even the ones doing anything. But anything that the Caucasian the lady upstairs say, the Caucasian people in the office, they go for it. They don't bother to call us, and you know, ask us, is everything okay in our unit? You know, we heard a complaint that this and this was going on. We just want to make sure everything is okay. No, we didn't get any of that. We got accused that we were doing exactly what the neighbor said we were doing. And then they said that it's happened more than once. If, it, if something has happened in our unit more than once, I'd like to be notified about it right away. Don't tell me after you notified me once that this has been going on several times that you're getting complaints then let me know how am i supposed to fix a situation i'm unaware of if you do not let me know and then the day you let me know you tell me that there's other things going on like that's absolute to me i that don't make that don't have nothing to do with me because if that was the truth you should have told me that when it happened instead of calling me now and then telling me some other stuff happened like that seems like a lie and i'm not a racist person but i am black and i do know how caucasian people like to play on people sometimes and there's nothing going on in my apartment that i should be getting complaints for there's no one here but me all day and i don't play loud music because i need to be able to hear my door because maintenance will just walk in here whenever they feel like it they've done it to me and my guy before but yeah they walked right on in scared the living day lights out of me so, of course, I don't play my music loud when I'm home alone because my protector is not here. I need to hear that door so that if something happens, I can be aware of the situation. So, I'm not playing music loud. But apparently upstairs, I'm doing something in my apartment alone when no one is here that is causing noise. And it's just like, dude, there are, there are 30 apartments in this building. How do you know it's me? I'm below you. Not on the side of you, not above you. I am below you. So what are you hearing? Because it's, it's not coming from my apartment. And management, management wouldn't even let me get tell my side of the story. So I'm like, okay, you know, cool. We just gonna move. We're, we're just gonna move. I'm not giving up no more rent and I'm leaving because that's ridiculous. You should have been able to come to me and, and ask me and not assume that that was what's going on just because the person upstairs made a complaint. There's 30 units in this complex and I am below her. So what did she hear? Because I don't have any children. And if it's music, it's not coming from here. It's coming from another unit, but she's so fixated on us. And I feel like because we are black and she is white. Not like I just previously said, I don't have problems with white people at all. Some of my friends are white. Or I shouldn't say friends because I don't have any friends. Some of my associates <laughs> are white. But it's just the fact if you want to play a race card with me, I'm not going to be ignorant and act ridiculous. I'm a spiritual person. I am just going to move. I didn't argue with the landlord and I'm not going to argue with her. I just put all my peas in the pot and I gave them to God. So now all I'm doing is 
packing up my stuff and putting up my babies for sale and moving around because that's unfair. That that really is unfair. That I felt like respect respectfully we should have had the same thing asked of us. You know, is anything going on in your apartment? We're getting, you know, complaints. We're just concerned, you know, if there's anything going on. Did not happen like that. She called, got on the phone with us and started chewing us out. Like we were children. And I felt like that was very disrespectful and that was wrong. So that is 25 minutes of the reason why we are moving. If anybody was concerned or wanted to know why I put up three babies for sale, that is why. Because I, I'm pretty sure anyone that would, would be paying $1,200 a month in rent on top of having to have renter's insurance and still can't do anything in their apartment and then starting to be accused for racist things, saying that we're playing music loud, saying that um, when my guy was on the balcony smoking his cigarette, she called and claimed that she called and told management that we're smoking marijuana on the balcony. Yeah. She's threatened to call the police on us. We have not done nothing to this woman. From the moment she moved in and found out that we were black, she had a problem with us. And she made it well known that she would be the one that will be calling police and that will be calling management. So I feel like she's trying to nudge us out of our apartment because she doesn't want us living below her. But I don't see what the problem is. Anybody that lives in this apartment is going to have a problem with all that noise coming from the ceiling at all hours of the night. Especially if you want an apartment that's $1,200, I promise you, baby, you got to have a job. People are sleeping because they have to get them to go to work the next day. And you upstairs making all that noise and you got the nerve to complain about a cigarette? Y'all, I promise you, she came out on her balcony, stood there, listened to us talking, went back in and called management. I am not going to be bullied by nobody. I don't care what race you are. You are not going to bully me. I will just move away because I don't have the energy or the time to play with grown, ignorant people. So that's why we're moving. Unfortunately, I don't have patience for race, racist people. I really don't. I like people of all color as long as you don't rub me the wrong way. You don't pull out a race car, we good. Because I'm, I'm multi raced it. Like I told y'all, I have Hispanic, Italian, Indian, Puerto Rican, and Black. I'm a mutt. How am I going to be a racist person? I got all these million and one races in me. I don't have a problem. But if you come at me sideways with some racist crap, oh yes, I'm going to, I'm going to move around you. Because I could tell that you're ignorant and you haven't matured and grown up. Yeah. Yeah, guys. That's what's going on. But I'm okay with it, you know. My creator's got my back. You know, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm taking care of things. Today is a, a relaxed day. Only thing I got to do today is vacuum and wash the rest of my dishes. Which ain't even a lot because it's only a couple of dishes in the sink. I just don't want stuff sitting. Um, this weekend, I'm going to finish breaking down the nursery. Um, packing up babies. Because I just don't want to wait till the last minute to try to do everything. The move into this apartment drained me so bad. And that was like almost at a spare of a moment. We didn't have anything packed. And we moved from a studio to a two bedroom apartment. This time around, we are bringing more stuff out of this unit than we brought into it. So I told my guy, I'm just gonna start this weekend. I want us to start packing up everything that we do not immediately need or use on a daily basis because we need to clear out the apartment. Um, next month, I'm going to go and get storage for half the stuff. So if we don't find a place within two weeks, I'm putting everything in storage. And my guy said, um, we'll stay at a hotel until we, you know, move back into another unit. 
which is not going to take long. We did that when we moved here. So it, it's not a problem. It's just a headache when we have new management and they want to act some weird type of way that I am not really understanding. I don't know if I just not seen it or what it is, but my guy is, is he's done with this situation as well. He's done. Um, we did go speak to, uh, we did go to the office and try to speak to someone about the situation, but apparently the people in the office that they've hired don't even know what in the world is going on. So we just said, you know, forget it. We're just going to move because my guy is concerned about my peace and my sanity. And I can't do that. If I'm here all day, even when I start, when I start going back to work, I don't want to come home and it's nine o'clock at night and I'm getting ready to lay down. And this woman is up dragging her feet on the floor all night. Like, no. And then I can't complain to the office because they're not going to do anything. All they're going to think is that it's a back and forth dispute between two neighbors. And it's like, no, can you come in my unit at nine o'clock at night and hear what is going on up there? Like, I'm offering you to come over here in the middle of the night to hear what is going on upstairs. Because I don't want you to think that I'm lying just to get back at her for the things that she lied about. No, I really want you to come and see there's a situation going on that needs to be repaired. It needs to be fixed some type of way. Either put padding in her apartment or move her to an apartment that is on the first floor. If that can't happen, then you know what? It's cool. You know, I'll just move. I don't have a problem with packing my things up and moving around. But it's just mm -mm, too stressful, y'all. It's just too stressful. Way too stressful. I just don't understand. You have to pay for parking outside in a parking lot or they'll tow your car. You gotta pay your rent and you gotta pay rentals insurance. That's just, that's just too much, too, too much of money going into stuff that you paying $1,200 a month in rent. Yo, yo, parking should be free. Your parking should be free. I get it. They probably had a lot of units in here burnt down. But if you going to tell people to get renter's insurance, they should be able to smoke their cigarettes in their apartment, light their candles, burn incense, because they have, they're paying out of their own pocket renter's insurance. The, the insurance is not connected to the unit either. This is private insurance that we had to go get. And if we don't have it, then they evict us. So it's just like, it's, it's too many things paying too many things on top of having to pay our own personal bills. So I'm just, I'm okay with the move. I'm really overwhelmed with how people in this society operate. Every, it just seems like certain individuals seem to operate off of the color of your skin. If that's not cool, that's not cool. I don't, I don't just dislike people because of the color of their skin. I will dislike you because of your character, your morals, your personality, not from the color of your skin. And that is, that's just plain sad and ridiculous that there are still people out here that feel like they're a better human being than I am because they are lighter than I am. Yeah. It's okay. Um, I'm not one that's going to be judging people. That is up to God. So she will have her day of judgment. It just sucks that there are still individuals in this world that are like that. And that me and my guy have to deal with someone like that. Because for real, we ain't going around attacking no Caucasian people because they Caucasian. So why is it the need for some individuals to attack black people because they are black. I don't understand that. I really don't. 
I really don't get it. It is freaking ridiculous. I was just watching like a reel on Facebook the other day and some white woman called some black woman a B and she hawked off and smacked the crap out of her. And it's just like, see, this is what I mean. Steady messing with us and don't understand that we got tempers just like everybody else do. And you keep pushing them and keep pushing them and something gonna happen. Not everybody is going to be spiritually inclined. Not everybody is going to be devoted to God. You're going to run into some individuals that's going to hurt you if you don't stop trying to attack black folks. Especially black people that ain't doing nothing to you. It's mind your business. I feel like I, that's what I have up there. A Karen. Anything that go on down here. She quick to report. Don't even know what it is. Probably can't even hear it clearly. Because she feels something, she finna go report it. Mind your business. Fred. That is just unbelievably ridiculous. Why are you worried about what's going on in a black person's apartment? Hmm? We don't have company. Don't nobody come over here. We personally don't like people in our environment. We sage, so we don't like all types of energy in our home. So it's not like we got company. It's not like we doing some type of quinceanera party. My guy go to work from Monday to Friday. It is quiet all the time. The only time there's music playing is on the weekend. And it ain't no 9, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1, 3, 4, 5 in the morning. It is when we get up in the morning, we play our gospel music to get ourselves going, to give praise to God, to our creator. We get up, we eat, we clean, we chill, we watch a movie. Like, dude, where are you getting all of this crazy mess from? Like, you live in the ghetto next to somebody that's selling drugs. Like, why are you trying to paint a picture like that for us? When well, we're just a common, quiet family. Only time you may ever hear anything out of us is if my guy pissed me off and I raised my voice. That's that's it. And that's rarely. 30 people in a building and she the only one complaining. I don't even have kids. And there's kids running all through the building. Now, I don't know if she complains about that, but they're white. So I'm pretty sure she not. She's only going after me and my guy. And that's sad. That is really sad. It is it's terribly ridiculous that there are still individuals in this world that want to play tit for tat when it comes to race. And that is grow up, grow up. Because somebody is seriously going to hurt that woman if she don't stop playing with people and their livelihood. I live here and you're making my living situation terrible because you want to play a race card. Like. Now when I hear her make noise. I don't even do anything. I don't bang on the ceiling to let her know that she's too loud. Because apparently she thinks that's an aggression. So she calls the office over it. So I, I'm not, I don't do anything. Only thing I do now is I turn my music up. You making all that noise upstairs? Well I'm trying to block it out. That's the reason why it's loud. Don't nobody need that. So that's why we're trying to find a house now. Because don't nobody need that. There's barely anybody it, making any noise in this apartment all day, Monday through Friday. But the need to constantly be picking with us when there's 30 units in the building, but we are always singled out. And we are not the only black people in this building. But apparently she's found it a point to single just us two out. And I don't understand why. She ain't even been here for a whole year, y'all. We had uh, another family living upstairs and they never had a problem with us at all. I never had a problem with them. They had a daughter. Never had a problem with them. They were never loud. Their kids was never running around. It was fine. I don't even think they had a dog. Then this lady move in and it just, everything hit the ceiling fan fast. Really, 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 really fast. 
And you're not going to disrespect me because you don't like the color of my skin. My mama told me, if you don't have anything nice to say, keep your mouth shut. Keep it moving. Or unless you want to get hurt. Point blank and simple. Don't play with people. Talk about people's skin color. Like, dude, come on. Are you serious? What, are you mad? Because I have a tan and you have to go sit in a booth to get one? Like, don't do that. Don't act like that. Be happy the way you were born. Be happy for other individuals. Don't be a sourpuss and don't sit there and try to bring slavery back into the picture because, baby, it's gone. We are all enslaved now. White folks, black folks, Mexicans, Puerto Rican, you are all enslaved by the government. So coming at an individual black person, you look stupid because we're all enslaved by the government. Your money ain't money. Now, don't make me get into all of this because you probably wouldn't understand it. But for all those Caucasian individuals that feel like race is still, they racism is still there, this is for y'all. You cannot continue to keep being like that. You need to grow up, mature, and mind your business. Because playing with black folks is not going to get you anywhere but into some serious trouble. Point blank and simple. I don't know why people intend on keep playing with this race. Leave us alone. Why is it so hard to do that? Really, seriously, why is it so hard to leave black people alone? Stop persecuting them, for real. For stuff that they haven't even done. Just because you think we are bad people and you think eventually we're going to do something bad. No, that's not cool, that's not right, and that is not godly. And if you consider yourself a godly person, you need to look in the mirror. Oh, way. Yeah, because I'm going to continue to live my best life, regardless if people want to play the race card with me. I'm not going to stoop down and be ignorant and get to your level, because I don't want to understand what you understand. I know that I have my freedom. I know that what my ancestors went through. And I know that you are not going to be like a slap in the face when I have to deal with you. I'm not going to touch you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to call you out your name. I'm going to do the grown up, mature and respectful thing to do. And that is just to move around you because you haven't matured in your mind enough to realize that we are all human beings. If you cannot be happy and joyful for the next person, then something is seriously wrong with you. The person has to be of some particular race, ethnicity, color, for you to be happy for them and their progress that they've made in life. That is not cool. That is not cool at all. So, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go. I've been on here for 43 minutes. But, yeah, no, I will not do that. I will not do that. Mm -mm. There's even babies I will not buy from particular artists because I've never seen any black babies in their collection. Yeah, I won't. I won't buy from someone that don't have no black babies in their collection. I, I really won't because it makes me think that you have an issue with other races but, and you have no issue with your race. Let me let every race out there know we all go through trials and tribulations. In every race, there are criminals. So why I, individuals like to sit back and put black folks on the boat, make it seem like we're always the problem. We are not always the problem, baby. We are not always the problem. And I could get into it right now. We are not always the problem. But every race do have criminals. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, y'all. I, I, I can't. That, that irritates my soul. You're not finna sit up there and treat me the way you didn't treat my ancestors. 
You're not going to sit up there and say slick stuff. You're not going to sit up there and lie on me. You're not going to sit up there and put your hands on me. None of that. My God is not going to allow that to happen. I'm going to continue to keep being me and loving all race of people because all race of people are just like a box of crayons. And I like all my colors. I'm not just sitting there with three pieces of crayons in my hand and I'm coloring a picture. No, I need all the colors. So if you feel like you don't need all the colors in your life, that's fine. That's dandy. But mind yourself and be respectful to the next per human being. Because black folks are human beings. We are people too. And we deserve to be respected as well. And if you think being disrespectful to a black person so you can pull out their ignorance is what you're looking for, you, you're going to get hurt. Because it's going to be that one black person that's got a lot of anger in them and they're going to let that out on you. You might end up calling the police. They might be sitting up in jail, but you're going to feel it. You are going to feel it. So just please leave us alone. If we is not bothering you, leave us alone. Let us live our best life the way we've been living it. We do not need you doing anything in our favor or lying on us. Because you know what? We're a strong race. So whatever you do, we're going to conquer. I'm going to move into a house. All she did upstairs, all she did was pave the way for me. So thank you, baby. You paved the way for me to get on out of here. And I am grateful for your ignorance because it helped me move out of a place that was very uncomfortable for me to live in. So for your ignorance, it gave me a blessing. I, I won't do that. No, 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 no. I won't do that. I had to teach my daughter not to be racist towards Caucasian people. Because when she found out her story of her people, it pissed her off. And I had to sway her gently out of that angry mode because she was... Mm -mm. She wasn't having it. She was very upset. So, yeah, I, I stand to my word. I stand to my word. That racist stuff is not cool. It is not cool at all. You have <laughs> Those particular individuals just don't know. They really just don't know the severity of our ancestors. The pain, the hurt. They don't get any of that. So to sit up there and make up all these assumptions and these lies. Baby, you ain't doing nothing but building a bridge for me to walk across. Totally honest and truth. For every ignorance that I run across and stay humble, that is a blessing God is going to send my way. So she can stay here and keep continuing for the next person that moves into this apartment to annoy them. Hopefully they're not black so they don't have to be prosecuted by her. She will deal with things on her time. God will deal with her. But for me, I, I, I gotta go. I don't have the patience for that because you're not finna keep telling my landlord stuff that's not true. And then they don't want to even come talk to me about it. They want to assume <laughs> that that is what's going on when no one else is complaining but her. 30 people in a complex and you're complaining over one person nobody else has complained about. I would be getting in touch with the other neighbor and just getting more information and trying to figure out what is going on. You know, not calling them and chewing them out as if you believed everything that that person said because they was white. Baby, baby, baby. Boy, some of these people in this world. So, yeah, that's why I got Miss Thinkapoo because she crying and I feel like... I feel like I get it.
Y'all think somebody is in my apartment. This is E.T.'s Babies. I'm going to let y'all go. I'll be right back.